Okay, so here's the deal. The DJI Neo 2 has officially been spotted in the FCC database, thanks to sharp-eyed leaker Mero Tandoy. That's a huge milestone, because FCC certification means the product is ready for sale in the US. And let me tell you, this might be DJI's most underrated release of the year. So whether you're a casual drone flyer or just someone who loves new tech, this update is definitely worth your attention. Let's break down what we know, what's confirmed, what's rumored, and why the Neo 2 could quietly become DJI's next sleeper hit. Now, before you get too excited, this doesn't mean it's launching tomorrow. DJI could pull the trigger next week or keep us all waiting for months. But judging from their past launch patterns, most FCC certified products go public within four to eight weeks. That means we could be looking at a late August to September 2025 release window. Fingers crossed. As for the price, nothing's official yet. But here's the good news. All signs point to the mid-range zone, right between the ultra-budget Tello and the higher-end Mini line. We're talking around $449 to $599, which makes the Neo 2 an attractive option for beginner pilots who want pro-level features without breaking the bank. Sounds tempting, right? Now let's talk about what makes this little drone actually exciting. First off, let's start with the design. Double-layered propeller guards. We saw it in a leak prototype, and it's clear. DJI is going for safer, more refined protection, which is perfect for indoor flying or first-timers. This thing looks like it could take a few hits and keep on flying. Redesigned lightweight body. It keeps the classic mini drone silhouette, but gets a sleek refresh. More aerodynamic, more portable, and probably under that magic number of 249 grams to avoid registration in many countries. That's a win. Section four, camera and tracking upgrades. Big changes coming. Here's where it gets really interesting. Bigger camera sensor, one out of 1.3 inch. Whoa, that's a massive leap from the original Neo. We're talking ballad or low light shots, sharple detail, possibly 4K at 60 frames per second, and even a D-Cine like color profile for some juicy color grading potential. Oh yeah, that's a mini beast in disguise. Active Track 6.0, Focus Tracks. DJI's tracking tech is no joke, and if this rumor is true, that means buttery smooth, subject tracking, smarter movement detection, and just cooler cinematic shots, all from a drone that fits in your pocket. Add in some HDR photo modes and improved dynamic range, and it's looking more and more like a tiny powerhouse. Section five, smarter flight, better navigation. Remember how the first Neo was kind of basic when it came to obstacle avoidance? <sighs> Yeah, this time might be different. Rumor has it the Neo 2 brings real obstacle detection, possibly with front, back, and bottom sensors. That means safer flights, fewer crashes, and more confidence when flying in tight spots. And when you pair that with improved wind resistance and longer battery life, thanks to better aerodynamics, this thing could become the new go-to travel drone. Section six, what's still unknown? Now let's be honest, not everything is clear yet. We still don't know, data tree specs, extra storage, online dimensions, or whether DJI will offer a fly more combo version. But based on past DJI launches, you can expect a few bundles, maybe a controller update, and at least one surprise. Section seven, other products coming soon. So yeah, DJI isn't slowing down anytime soon. Why the Neo 2 might be a game changer. Here's the bottom line. The DJI Neo 2 might not be flashy. It might not steal headlines like the Inspire or the Air series, but it could be the perfect drone for everyday creators, casual flyers, and anyone who wants smart features in a compact, affordable body. And if the rumors hold true, then this little drone might just be DJI's most fun, most beginner-friendly, and most underrated launch of 2025. <laughs> Let's start with Anti-Gravity A1. Anti-Gravity A1, the world's first 360 drone. The drone world has just taken a huge leap forward with the introduction of the Anti-Gravity A1, a groundbreaking flying machine that doesn't just capture video, it redefines how creators think about aerial storytelling. As the world's first drone with built-in 8K 360 capture, the A1 is a bold debut for Anti-Gravity, a new brand incubated by Insta360. With immersive capabilities, lightweight design, and creator-focused features, this drone is shaping up to be one of the most innovative releases in years. 360 capture without limits. At the core of the Anti-Gravity A1 is its dual-lens 8K 360 recording system. Unlike traditional drones that force pilots to frame their shots mid-flight, this drone records every angle at once. That means you can fly first and worry about framing later. Whether you want to punch in on a breathtaking landscape or create a dizzying horizon flip, the A1 makes it possible without missing a moment. Even better, 
thanks to advanced stitching algorithms, the drone literally disappears from the footage. This invisible drone effect ensures that your audience sees only the scene, not the machine capturing it. The result is a seamless, fully immersive video that places viewers directly in the action. A new way to fly. The Anti-Gravity A1 isn't just about recording, it's about experiencing flight in a whole new way. Using free motion technology, the drone paired with vision goggles and the grip controller creates an incredibly natural and intuitive flying experience. Pilots can fly in one direction while looking in another, opening up creative possibilities that traditional FPV systems can't match. This immersive system puts creators inside their footage, making flights feel less like piloting a machine and more like soaring through the sky. And once you land, the 360 footage can be rewatched and explored endlessly, offering new angles every time. With 8K clarity, creators have the freedom to edit footage however they want. From tiny planet effects to cinematic widescreen exports, the A1 offers flexibility that traditional drones simply can't. Its workflow is also designed to be familiar to Insta360 X-Series users, making the transition seamless for those who already edit immersive 360 content. Weighing in at just 249 grams, the Anti-Gravity A1 stays under the registration threshold in most countries, meaning more people can fly it without the hassle of permits or paperwork. Its compact design makes it backpack-ready, so it's easy to bring along on adventures. Safety hasn't been overlooked either. The A1 comes with return-to-home functionality and a payload detection system that prevents unauthorized modifications or misuse, ensuring the drone is used strictly for exploration and storytelling. In a unique move, Anti-Gravity is inviting creators to join their co-creation project, giving early adopters the chance to test pre-production units and share ideas. Selected contributions could even make their way into the final retail version, rewarding participants with a share of a $20,000 reward pool. The Anti-Gravity A1 is set to launch globally in January 2026, with final pricing, bundles, and regional details to be announced closer to release. The Anti-Gravity A1 is not just a drone, it's a new way to see, fly, and create. Whether you're a casual flyer or a professional content creator, this 8K 360 powerhouse is shaping up to be the start of something revolutionary. Let's talk about DJI Mini 5 Pro. From the folks at Drone XL, these aren't blurry spy photos taken through a bush or AI generated what if renders. Nope, these are clean, detailed shots of the actual retail unit. It's the first time we've seen the Mini 5 Pro in the wild, fully dressed and ready to fly. Sure, the earlier packaging leaks gave us some hints, but now we're looking at the real thing in all its palm sized glory. And right there, proudly plastered on its tiny frame, the C0 sticker, confirming it's still under the magical 249 gram limit. Translation, in the U.S. you can fly without FAA registration. <sighs> For casual pilots, that's like getting a permanent skip the DMV line pass. This is where things start to get spicy. That front-mounted LiDAR sensor? It's not just a don't-hit-the-tree babysitter. Remember the one-time-use propeller screws from the Mini 4 Pro? <sighs> yeah, they're gone. Instead, DJI has blessed us with a tap-and-twist propeller system. Changing props is now as easy as swapping batteries in your TV remote minus the part where you're shaking it like a maraca trying to get it to work. And then there's the mysterious new button on top. The leading theory? It's a quick power on button that works without the controller connected. That means you can be airborne in seconds when you spot that fleeting perfect shot. 